David. <laughs> this is a story of a man with a very strange <laughs> fate. Hey, look. It's like I've grown wings.
<gasps> I didn't see you again this time either. Little Peggy. My name is David Young, former knock with the Boston PD, and now a detective who searches the past. My likes include 100% de agave tequila, my dislikes are mainly drugs and chewing gum. Two years ago, someone killed my wife. Since then, I've been using every second of my life to solve a case. Using a certain, a very special power. A gift is an expression of emotion. The person who sends it wants the feelings to be understood. Sometimes, however, those feelings remain in a slightly different form. I call these forgotten treasures mementos. It's been broken since that day. No results this time either. This case is in the clear.
What am I doing? I have no memories of that day. When I came to, I was already lying in the ICU. The only thing I do remember are the words that little Peggy whispered as she died. Look for D. Who is D? Those words keep spinning in my head. Time. With no compelling evidence, the case hit a dead end. I quit the BPD. However, under the right circumstances, I now have the capability to solve even a dead end case. do everything in my power to find this D. I swear I will. And when I do, oh, Peggy. Amanda? Escape now! <gasps> this is Amanda. She just suddenly started living here one day. She sometimes goes out and gets food for us. And that's something of a lifeline for me, as I don't really go outside. 
Just who she is, though. Well, my memory holds no answers. Yo, David, everything ship shake? Look at me. What do you think? I knew the answer. Just wondering if you did. <laughs> Forrest Kaysen, a detective with the Boston Police Department, and my former partner. He still helps me out nowadays in my search for Dee. He's both a client and a source of information. He gets whatever I need. Uh. Yeah. <clears throat> Women are always trouble. Doesn't matter how old they get. Trouble. I'm fighting with Diana again? <sighs> like you wouldn't believe. Women. Men don't stand a chance. Uh, don't come and see me. Actually means get right over here. But then, leave me alone just means, well, leave me alone. How am I meant to make sense of that? Tell me, David, please. You know you love it. You got the stomach for it. My stomach is stressed out quite enough. Thanks. Uh, I was a fool to ask you. Man, Diana is so stupid. Once feared as the mighty grizzly, detective among detectives. Now he's more like a big teddy bear. What's the point of the place? Teddy, what's this? So, tell me, David, have you heard the news about that airplane accident, huh? Access Gate Airways Flight 117, struck by unexplained lightning. No one's talking about anything else right now. We might be looking at the real deal. I've got the good stuff for you this time. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid... Light. Does that sound possible to you? Antonio Zapatero, otherwise known as Rabbit. He's a courier who only carries real blood. This one promised to provide evidence after being brought to Boston. Evidence that may well have led to the ID of the source of real blood. But then the lightning struck, and in the confusion, he vanished. He escaped somehow? No. When I say vanished, that's pretty much what I mean. Like something out of a magic act. So, clue me in. What makes this one the real deal? The name of the boss he was going to give up? Apparently starts with the letter D. This courier might have had evidence revealing the identity of D. So, interested yet? Let me ask you again. Passenger simply vanishing from an aircraft mid-flight. 
Does that sound possible to you? Almost anything is possible. That's why you brought this to me in the first place, isn't it? Glad we're on the same page. The courier had the evidence with him. I tell you, there's got to be a third party involved somewhere. From the evidence I was able to bring, this particular item is the most interesting. The owner of that badge was involved in this incident. Well? No doubt about it. This is a memento. Great. It's yours then. Let's hope it's the last one you'll ever need. Thank <laughs> you.